Hey everybody, today I'm going to be reupholstering these bar stools. Thank you so much, sis, for snagging these bar stools for me. They were free on the side of the road. We need bar stools for our island, so this was totally a perfect steal for us. Thank you so much. And so I began taking out all the screws to the seat to get to the actual fabric. So once you get your seats off your bar stool, you will need a staple remover or a flathead screwdriver. Um, I could not find my staple remover at the moment, so I ended up using a flathead, sc flathead screwdriver and then I ended up using a kitchen knife, which ended up working the best for me. You definitely want to make sure your bar stools are very well cleaned before you start spray painting. So I ended up taking a hose and trying to spray off my bar stools. I then began taking off the staples for I can get to the bottom cushion. Um, the staples were definitely tricky to get out. I used needle nose pliers and I ended up using a knife but I was trying to use a flathead screwdriver at first it just wasn't working for me I just wanted to throw out there a real quick tip that my flathead wasn't working that well to get these off it's been taking me like over 10 minutes so I went and grabbed a kitchen knife and this tips a lot thinner to like poke under there and pull out those staples and then you could use your pliers to pull it out. So once you take all your, um, once you take all your staples out, there is a few that just were not coming out. So I got majority of them all out. The cushions are not in that bad of condition, honestly. I'm not gonna run to the store to get new cushions. These will do, since I am reupholstering on top of them. I then began spray painting the chairs a white just because the chairs are black and my final coat is going to be a gold color so I wanted the gold to stick and look the best so using the white kind of as a primer base instead of just going straight from black to gold. I hope everyone's enjoying this DIY and you guys, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Instantly, when I started spray painting this gold color, I loved it so much. I wish you guys could see how how it had like a shine in the sun. It was just so pretty.
Okay, so I just finished spray painting this one chair and I freaking love it. This gold looks so much better. So as you originally seen, it was black. I did the white as like a primer coat and I freaking love it. Oops, I still need to go right there. But it's looking like a million times better already. I'm so excited. And then I did notice there's a few spots where this spray paint kind of did these lines. This is because I was too close and it was too much spray paint. So you gotta be careful like how you hold your um, your spray can because if you're getting too close, it like just kind of waters up. But that's gonna be okay because I'm just gonna take some sandpaper once it like dries and I'm just gonna rub it a little bit and then I'll just do an, a few more coats of spray paint very lightly and you will never notice that. Okay guys, so these are the two spray paints I'm gonna be using. This is a flat white. This is a metallic gold. There was different styles of gold. I liked how this one wasn't as bright and shiny. Um, these are super cheap at like Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, I got a different gold from a craft store and it was like $10 a spray can. These at like Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot are around 4 or $5. So these are the tools you will need to remove your seats. You will need a Allen wrench. You will need needle nose pliers. You will also need a staple remover or a kitchen knife, which I ended up using. I also attempted to use a flathead screwdriver. Yay, now we're on to the fun part, reupholstering the bar stool seat. So you begin by taking your fabric and stapling your fabric as tight as possible. I realize if I kind of put pressure with my knees, I can pull the fabric a little bit more snug and tight. Um, however, this staple gun did not continue to work on me. Yay, we finally found our staple remover. This thing you can get for like $6 at Home Depot. Totally suggest investing in one if you don't have one already. Shout out to my husband for finding me another staple gun inside of our garage. Thank goodness. I was super bummed out when the other one stopped working, but this one did require him having to help me, which ended up working better anyways, because then I could actually pull the fabric really tight while he stapled. The staple gun that we ended up having to use requires a lot of pressure, but teamwork makes the dream work. And then you will take a pair of scissors and just cut off all that extra fabric. Yay, my bar stool is finally reupholstered. Okay, guys, and then you're going to take your seat that you just reupholstered and you're going to start applying your screws. You will be using an Allen wrench to tighten these screws to the chair. Um, really important when you first take apart your chair, do not lose your screws. Also, sorry, I was right in the middle of watching TV. Use an Allen wrench to tighten up your screws. So they are officially done. I freaking love them. I feel like they look a million times better from the start. Um, this was a total great deal. My sister got it for me for free on the side of the road. So this is just an insane makeover. Bar stools are so expensive. 
And these look beautiful. They match our kitchen perfectly. We have the black countertops and we have the gold right here. So that just looks so good. I'm so excited. Thanks sis for thinking about me and snagging these for me. Tools I used for this project were a hammer, a pair of scissors, staple remover, also needle nose pliers, an allen wrench, and a staple gun. I hope everyone enjoyed this DIY. Thank you so much for watching.